What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. Now in today's video, we'll be talking more about the Z Fold series and how to change the default keyboard. And this video is ideal for anyone who doesn't like that default split keyboard and wants to change it to something a little bit more attractive like the Google G board. Now as for this video, it's featured on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. And as always, we only feature products or services I buy use or i'm interested in you can find the samsung galaxy z fold 4 and related items at the amazon storefront link in the description below all things said let's go ahead and get into it so here we are on the main display of the z fold 4 and this is going to be the larger internal display when your device is unfolded and this is worth mentioning because if you're going to use the cover display this tutorial will vary slightly so we're going to start this tutorial by pulling down from the top of the display and we're going to look for a gear icon in the top right hand corner. That's going to be our settings and we're going to tap on that. Continuing on, you can see that we have a left and right side menu and we're going to focus on that left side menu for the time being. And we're going to scroll down until we see general management. It's quite a ways down the list and we're going to tap on that option. Now we're going to move to the list on the right side and we're going to look for keyboard list and default and tap on that option. Now for this tutorial, we'll be changing the keyboard from the Samsung default keyboard to the Gboard multilingual typing. So we actually need to look for the Gboard multilingual typing option. And you can see that there's going to be a pill slider to the right of that. We're going to tap on that. And then we're going to get a pop-up and that's just letting us know that Gboard may collect data. We're going to tap okay. And that's going to change the slider to blue. So now the Gboard is enabled but it's not actually set as the keyboard yet. In order to actually set it as the default keyboard, we need to tap on default keyboard. And that's going to show another pop-up menu here. And we are going to select Gboard. So we can now back out of settings and do a quick demo here. We're going to type on the Google search. And you can see that our keyboard is going to show here. This is the Gboard. And I like it a little bit more. It looks a little bit more attractive and we don't have that divide down the middle. I prefer to not have that. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or would buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to you show your support is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on whether you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching, and listening to. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon checking out. Yeah.